Zambia Blog Talk Radio. Presenting book titles authored by Derek Chibilu. The following titles are now available. Love as God Intended It. Whimsical Wonders. 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The Bible Storybook Series is available in three volumes with multiple choice questions and answers included at the end of every chapter. Volume 1. 50 Bible Tales for Kids. Volume 2. 46 Parables. Tales of God's Kingdom and Our Lives. And Volume 3. Exploring the Transformative Power of Faith and the Miraculous Acts of Christ. Order on Amazon and Barnes and Novels Online. Here is a comment from one reader of Love as God Intended It. I went through it in one sitting. Excellent flow of language and thought. It's a great resource bent on promoting love and harmony in marital relationships. It's a must-read for all people, especially those that belongs to the community of faith. Kudos by Dr. Abel Satali. Both books are available online at Amazon in Barnes and Novels. You can also get Whimsical Wonders and Love as God Intended It on Google Playbooks and Google Books and audiobook versions. Get your child captivating bedtime stories from Whimsical Wonders, 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The books are available in ebook, paperback, and audiobook at the following distributors. Amazon, Barnes and Novels, Google Books, and Google Playbooks. The word is out. Order your copy today by following the book links that you see on the screen. For more information or questions, email thecblogger at gmail.com. Hurry and get your copy today before they run out. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. It is Saturday, June the 10th, and we are so excited that right, you'll be able to join us and not miss anything that happens or that comes here on our live broadcast. All right. Today we have an exciting show for you. We are talking, I know, when the Apollo uh, and, and uh, for the country, I understand it was. Uh, Zambia, the Chipolo Polo legends who, who played in the game and who, I mean, firsthand, we just want to get this experience of that game. So, thank you, Uta, and Noah is joining us here today, and we are excited. Hi, Noah, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right, and how are you? Good to be here again. Thanks for joining us. I know it's uh, uh, or late evening time for you. Yeah, right? Yes, yes, uh, but I always make time Eating? for you. <laughs> when duty calls, <laughs> you just have to, to help one another. <laughs> Uh, tell us what uh, where, where, yeah, was the best. It's it's delaying. I didn't uh, get your question. Uh, did you? Get to hear about the yeah we're having uh, some technical issues here today 
Okay, now I can hear you now. Now I can hear you. I know. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, now. Yes, now I can hear you. Um, how were you informed about the, the legend soccer game? How did you first hear about it? <laughs> okay, at first, uh, when we heard about it, it was uh, through the media which uh you know many people can uh say things and uh without uh proper inv invitation so we just kept quiet to say we yet to to see or know like uh, if this is true or not then uh it was a month or two months before the game there they were just flyers around like uh, there will be a game but uh officially we were invited got the invitation letters i think two weeks uh prior to 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 the game mm. oh okay okay so uh, uh, mm, mm. how did you get the official I I didn't get uh, that. Hello. Hey, Noah. We I apologize. Okay, we are back. My friend, we're having a little. Yeah, okay. I'm saying, how was the official invitation? To you. I only got the first part of your question. Like you were saying, how was the official invitation uh, letter was i don't know if it was that was your question sent to you yes yes um okay it was a bit tricky because um uh, i think it was not everyone like who really needed uh, the invitation uh, uh letters like um uh, only people who are engaged uh, with uh, uh, who are working somewhere and uh, they really needed those letters to be released where uh, they are attached from uh, so there are some who are just like uh, not attached to any anybody so it was just like a normal phone calls to them but uh, with me being attached with uh, the club so they had to uh, request for that invitation and it was sent via email to my, uh, myself and uh, to my employees as well. So I think uh, to everyone uh, who was attached, it was the same procedure.
power. Yeah. I'm saying, what was your first impression? Got yes, I get the invitation. Yeah, uh, at first, you know, it was uh, for me like uh, after uh, I received now, like uh, it, it, this thing is really happening. It's official now. I got the invitation letter. The first thing which uh, came to me, or my first impression is like, okay, this is the time because we have been crying for at least to be honored with uh, anything, any game. Uh, any recognition, like at least we've done something as a 2012 uh, team uh, uh, in terms of football and to, to our country. Mm. Our contribution, at least a little bit of appreciation, mm. it's not, it, it shouldn't come in, in, in form of money, but in terms of a game like the one we played, it was really like mm -hmm. a, an honor uh, to get that kind of invitation. And uh, uh, it was really welcome and a good gesture for for the organizers of mm. the game, uh, yeah, the government and uh, 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 the other organizers who, who were partnering with the government, the Minister of Sports, the Kings of Africa, to be specific. So, mm, did did everybody show up from the Chipolopolo Legends of the 2012 team? Did everybody show up? Yes, uh, I would say oh, we are almost a full team. The only two players who never showed up was uh, uh, Evans uh, Kangwa because he's attached in China and the club uh, denied to because it was not a uh -huh. calendar and it was during the weekend to stop it and Suzu. And Suzu also, it, it was the same thing because he's also in China, so he was not released as well by the club. But the rest, the rest was there, and uh, the whole so team, the whole squad for 2012 was there. Apart from the late, uh, also Dr. Uh, Joseph Kabungo as well. Well, uh, uh, of course, he, 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 he saw rest in peace. So, how was it like? <laughs> how was it like to reunite to reunite with Carlo and? Uh, it, uh, you you went into Coach Carlos' camp and tell us about when you all met for the first time and the Coach Carlos was there. How, how was that like? Yeah, with with us also with uh, Carlos, we didn't take him as uh, the coach uh, as per se. Uh, he was given that role that he would be coaching, but uh, for uh -huh. us in our time, he was our president. So there was that respect that he's our president again, not uh, being a coach. Yes, but I it know. it was a really good uh, thing. It was like we are relieving that 2012 or that uh, uh, times we oh. used to be together. At first, it was just laughter, remembering the things which happened in the past. You know, when boys meet, men meet, uh, so to say, there were things which happens in, two ca in, in camp where... It's funny now when you go back and you look at it. Oh, you remember that time when we traveled here? This thing. Happened? So it was just it was laughter on dinner. Sometimes there were the other guests would come to our table and say, "Please, please, tone down your voices and whatever." But it was a very, very good feeling. It was like it is happening again. It's those days when we were all active. This thing. <laughs> okay, that's that's. Very, very, uh, no, that's very, very interesting. Mm. <laughs> so now you, you got me, and uh, the, the one I'm interested in is uh, uh, Carl, play, uh, you know, Carl, in this time, uh, he was the team coach, right? The legends coach, yes, yes, is yes, right? yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was. But we knew at one time he's going to play. So uh, Janza then took over, but uh, everything was set uh, okay. by Sa him. Okay. No, did Coach Reynard come? 
No, no, no. Also, he also he got an invitation, but uh, from what we heard, it's him and um, Patrice, uh, the assistant coach, because uh, as you know, Hevrena is now uh, attached with the French women national team. And by that time, they are also preparing, I think, for some friendies or whatever. They are preparing for uh -huh. the World Cup as well. So he was committed, but he was invited, yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. with, with Patrice, he just sent us uh, uh, the uh, the video, like talking about a game, the magnitude of a game, and how he's excited to see all of us together and whatever. So it's just like uh, one family. So he sent us a video and we watched uh, the video while we were sitting, eating, and uh, we were just laughing at him. And we we laughed together and he was so happy uh for us to re to reunite once again what 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 was in the message that he sent uh, no, he says, uh, he said, like, uh, we shouldn't uh, forget the past. We made history and it will be there forever. But, uh, you know, we should be living that, uh, that moment. It shouldn't fade out from our, also our hearts. We should also passing it on to us and reminding people for the things we have, we have done and achieved because people easily forget so the games mm -hmm. of this magnitude also yeah. it brought people to to see these are the people who did it and if you watch the game mm -hmm. it was like uh, we didn't go easy we just because it it is in us like to win we went all out like we have to win this game No, you said if you watch the game, it was. I was saying uh, it was so competitive on our side because uh, uh, anyway, on um, our fitness level, I think we were better, a little bit better than them because most of us uh, we just retired a few years back, and uh, so we were still in shape, except few few players. So mm -hmm. we were so competitive in a game, and it was just just not an exhibition match, but. Uh, we wanted results, even in that game. That's why some people after the game say, "No, oh, you would have let them at least score one goal and whatever." But it was not in us. We, if we are put in a field, we forget about uh, it's a, a exhibition match and whatever. We go there to compete, and that's what we did. Mm. But having fun as well. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was really. Be hoping that uh, nobody. <laughs> yeah. So no, these were mm. th these the, the 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 Barcelona legends that you played against. They were, you know, these were renowned international players. How was your interaction yeah. with them um, on the pitch and off the pitch? How was your interaction? Uh, it was uh, great, you know, like uh, for me, I know everyone who talk about um, Ronaldinho so much, like, you know, everyone want a piece of him uh, with what he has done in football. But for me, I'll just tell you some something with uh, Emerson, the Brazilian midfielder, holding midfielder. That uh, Emerson, yeah. um, he scored, if you remember, he scored the winning penalty, I think, for the World Cup when Brazil uh, Brazil last won it. That feeling, and for me, like following mm. Brazil so much and seeing that person like playing uh, against him and he was in the midfield when I played. And so we were uh, facing each other most of the time. And, uh, you know, when the ball goes out and then we talk, at least he can speak a little bit of English and whatever. At one time, I just said, uh, you know what, that penalty you scored, 
it's still in my head your celebration going to the people so he was just like, oh no 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 thank you thank you like that so it was it was uh with other people obviously different uh role models like uh, patrick private as well what he has done also uh with the netherlands and the other teams he has played for but it was it was like relieving but not also forgetting what we have done as well because those people have to respect us also we have done something we have done we have made history just like them maybe they are uh, in a different way so the respect was there the respect was mutual Let, let, let's uh no let's take a break yes. here and we'll come okay. back and see if we can try to work on the in these technical problems we have okay okay that's okay, okay. All right. Presenting book titles authored by Derek Chibilu. The following titles are now available. Love as God Intended It. Whimsical Wonders. 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The Bible Storybook Series is available in three volumes with multiple choice questions and answers included at the end of every chapter. Volume 1. 50 Bible Tales for Kids. Volume 2. 46 Parables. Tales of God's Kingdom and Our Lives. And Volume 3. Exploring the Transformative Power of Faith and the Miraculous Acts of Christ. Order on Amazon and Barnes and Novels Online. Here is a comment from one reader of Love as God Intended It. I went through it in one sitting. Excellent flow of language and thought. It's a great resource bent on promoting love and harmony in marital relationships. It's a must read for all people, especially those that belongs to the community of faith. Kudos by Dr. Abel Satali. Both books are available online at Amazon and Barnes and Novels. You can also get Whimsical Wonders and Love as God Intended It on Google Playbooks and Google Books and audiobook versions. Get your child captivating bedtime stories from Whimsical Wonders, 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The books are available in ebook paperback and audiobook at the following distributors amazon barnes and novels google books and google playbooks the word is out order your copy today by following the book links that you see on the screen for more information or questions email the cblogger at gmail.com hurry and get your copy today before they run out hi everybody thanks for <clears throat> Yeah. Hey Noah. Yes, yes, I'm back again. That's better, I think. <laughs> okay, that's much better, right? Yes, yes. That's far much better. All You're right. On the other side, so I think uh, you are sitting on the wrong wrong side at first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make this work. Let's make okay. this work. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us. We are uh, apologize for the technical issues that we are having okay um and we uh, please bear with us we're trying to make this thing work and have a great conversation uh uh with noah so when the training how many days before the game did you show up uh, in the camp we reunited on uh, monday uh so so we turned uh full training it was on tuesday wednesday and then I'll play the game on Thursday, Thursday night. Oh, wow. Just two, three days? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. You know, if you have it in you, <laughs> you don't need much time. Anyway, with the national team, normally it's uh, if you are coming from outside, it's only one week. So with uh, the legends, uh, it's, uh -huh. three days is enough. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But we were keeping feet wherever we were. Uh, mm so it wasn't that difficult okay now the other question i wanted to ask you know is that uh carlo mm. has played uh, european and uh, south american football especially uh what do you call it uh mexican uh, he played in the mexico league at a very high level yes, yes, what yes. system of uh, what what system of play did you guys adopt in your play uh, Yes, uh, you know, um, the message was just simple. Him, uh, he just referred to us like when we started uh, uh, with him, uh, him being a coach before he came mm -hmm. a, a FA president, he said, you saw my philosophy, you just work hard, 
uh, having a winning mentality and uh, so we're not gonna do anything different from uh, what i expected so we're gonna go enjoy ourselves but we have to win at all costs mm -hmm. we just have to now okay the the intensity won't be the same like uh, when everyone was active so for now let's just keep the ball more and uh, we see opportunities, but uh, and still we could see like when the game was playing, one of the players maybe tried to do tricks like uh, without going any anywhere, and he was angry. What is he doing? We have to go for it. We have to win. So that's what I was saying. It was like for us, it was just a normal competitive match. <laughs> so Carlo, Carlo as well was taking this very seriously, right? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, he was hundred percent uh, serious. You, you know what? Uh, you could see like it's a small thing like you know it's a social game it's an exhibition match and whatever but when you lose it will go down into history that you lost and oh, i wow. think even him is not a, a person who likes losing so he, he was so angry like it at first half it was one knee said no 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 no. this is not enough we have to kill this game off he wanted like when it goes in the first half <laughs> That is interesting. That is very yeah. interesting. Okay. <laughs> that is very interesting. So you, the game was a full 90 minutes, right? Yes, yes. Uh, although we had uh, some water breaks, like uh, uh, not only on half time. So we were half of uh, each side, we were breaking at least for, for water break. Okay. okay. I guess that's what made it... Uh, uh, because I, I was more, I was very concerned about the Barcelona legends. To be honest with you, I was. No, <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe. It's like, um, I, those, uh, you know, they are active. It's uh -huh. not like they couldn't go. No, those, those, uh, uh, guys, they are professional. You professionals, you know, at when you retire from football, now we are learning that I just retired last year. So it's something also I will adopt. Even look at Carlo himself as well. Carlo yes. is sixty. Mm -hmm. Look how his shape, look how his, his fitness level. He played for 45 minutes. I know not only high intensity, but it's not everyone at 60 who could run like uh, the way he did. Yeah, yeah. So those people true. also, they, uh, they're active wherever they are. I know it's not that compared, but it's there. And you can never take away the skill they have, the touch they have. The only thing which is away from them is just the fitness level mm -hmm. to on that uh, high intensity level of the normal day-to-day uh, -day football as at now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the you guys after the game, um, you uh, what do you call it? I believe you you made a trip to Livingstone. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, Immediately the following day, yes, we were uh, asked like we we're gonna have a trip uh, to Livingston uh, because they said, uh, you know what, we did this thing uh, together, and the Barcelona legend they shouldn't turn up to be there alone. So we we both both teams we went there. Oh, okay. Did yes, you travel? Did you travel together, or you went two separate in two two separate teams went in separate ways? Uh, we went because of uh, you know the the planes also uh, the Barcelonan ones they went with uh, the Zambian Airways uh -huh. major Air League say yes then us we went with the the Air Force uh, uh, a flight the charter okay. flight yes uh -huh. so that is to accommodate uh, everyone at the uh, same time okay that's interesting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how many days did you stay in Livingston just a, a day. A day oh, and the night. A yeah, day so, and the night. Yes, mm. yes. All right. And it, it, it looked short. We went uh, to a boat cruise uh, together. When we went to a boat cruise, we were, both teams were there and the organizers were all on the boat having fun, uh, having drinks, having a chat also there, playing cards. It, it mm -hmm. was uh, mm -hmm. a good one hour uh, cruise together with them. And uh, we came to the hotel again. Then we went for dinner together. Then the following morning, that's when we went to uh, the the big five uh, to see animals, or at least we interacted with lions. And, uh, you know, for the guys in Europe, I think it's the first time they could go closer to animals like that. So, so it was a good experience. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, so uh, the, the, the whole trip and everything uh, you talked about, you said organizers. Who 
who, who really organized this? And that's a question a lot of people are actually watching are asking to say, who organized this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it's uh, the agency. Those are the agents, uh, agent, agent company, agents company called uh, 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 Africa uh, something. Yes, yes, yes. I've just uh, forgotten their name. It's, uh, it's uh, African Sports. Ah, okay, African yes, Sports. Yes, African mm. Sports. Yes, yes. Uh, they are based in South Africa, and uh, they came up with this concept, and they, then they approached the, I think the the, the ministry. And uh, their target was also the, to bring tourism. If you mm. fill up like Heroes uh, st uh, Stadium, which means those people, the us and uh, them, okay, even Barcelona, I, I think alone, if, if they were playing a team which is not recognized, I don't think the stadium would have been full. Yeah. But also combining the 2012, and the, it was a good uh, combination. And from there, mm. we went to Livingston. You could see that at the airport, Everywhere knew like uh, we were coming, which was so interesting. Oh going wow! To Force, yes, going to Vic Force. At least they they had everything planned. They had to wait for us, not allowing anybody to go in. It was only us in the the force. We, we did whatever we had to do there. We went to uh, the Big Five to go and see those animals. It was only us. So it it was really interesting and well organized. Mm. 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 Okay, interesting. Well, we have our our regular uh, view people watching here. Uh, Noah, hello mm -hmm. from Miss Prisca in Baltimore, and uh, I, uh, we also have uh, MPG. Mm -hmm. Hello from Indianapolis. Um, we have uh, Lalewis watching from Kitwe. Yes, says uh, hello. Uh huh. <laughs> there is a question here, Noah. Uh, yes. From from one, so she says. Um, let's bring it up here on the screen. Okay. She says, "What is your experience after retirement? What are you doing?" Yeah, uh, it's a good question. You know what? Uh, as footballers, uh, that transition from retiring from active football, you, um, we have been okay. I personally, I've been playing football since I was around ten years old. Oh, wow. And now I'm turning 40. So to retire, just to forget about the things you have been doing, it's it's all my my life up to now. Mm -hmm. Just to let it go, it's a difficult thing to do. But uh, it's reality. The bodies cannot take you anymore. But I've prepared myself. Um, I've started uh, doing coaching courses. And where I am in Thailand now, I'm uh, helping um, the, the international school. They want to change it into a sports school. Mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of coaching and uh, football analysis and scouting I've done. So I'm helping that, that school to be bringing players from all over the country. We've started just locally in Thailand. Then uh, our aim is to go, into, uh, go outside as well, mm -hmm. to bring players to the school. Then from there, we are sending them also on scholarship. We have wow. linked with um, uh, some American uh, colleges as well. Amazing. That's uh, the plan we are doing. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Mm, excellent. Thank you for that question, Mwansa. It made Noah share some information. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Share some, some information with us. Uh, mm. Noah, I believe there's another game coming up against the African legends. Is that true? Yes. Um we also we have just to wait for the official invitation then we know it's also happening but yes uh, i think they had a meeting with that uh there was only one thing like i would just uh, say it's something we never saw it mm -hmm. you know that the if you, if you have uh, a team like the 2012 team yes. without putting any politics and whatever it's a brand on its own mm. I like if you, that. If you if you manage it well, it can bring a, a lot of things like to our country in terms of tourism and uh, football wise. But uh, if we are putting in politics, oh no, this why these people doing this and whatever. But it's a brand. The twenty twelve is a brand on its own. That's right. We can go to Europe. We can go to anywhere and being recognized and being managed well. It, it can bring many things to our country and to our lives as well. Mm, mm, mm. Excellent. Yeah. 
That's very true, No, I appreciate mm -hmm. you making that statement right there. That's, that's a very powerful statement. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me ask you a, a side question here. The, mm -hmm. uh, the Women's World Cup soccer, I believe, is about to kick off. I'm not very yes. sure about the dates, yes. maybe, but Derek can help yes, me with yes, that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what, is that. The, what is the significance mm -hmm. of uh, the Zambian women's soccer team participating in this? Yes, uh, first and foremost, you know, uh, foremost, we have to, to realize as, as a nation, where are we in, in terms of uh, football? Mm -hmm. What standard are we on? Are we going there to go and learn? Or are we going there to go and win it? Are we mm -hmm. capable of winning it? So if we, if we are true to ourselves, then uh, when going there, we go with an open heart. Like, okay, whatever... If we pass the group stage, then that's a it's a plus for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But not the girls if they go there, like uh, they come out in the first uh, round, then we say it's a failure to them. So first we establish where we are. Are we good to compete? Are we? But with the standard like uh, which I saw on Olympics, it will be difficult. But it's a learning curve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a learning curve for for we have to just to support them in whatever result which is gonna come then for next at least from there then we can build to the next uh, level or the next world cup now we said okay we have tested it yes can we now go we do better what we did last time mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. see so we just have to rally behind uh, our, our our girls and uh, we just I, I just wish them uh, all the best for and uh, they just have to go there and enjoy they've got nothing to lose for them, mm. just being there to qualify, it's already an achievement. Yes, it is. You are right. That's a very big achievement. Mm. I like the point you make about uh, uh, you, you've you made reference from the Olympics team, uh, Carlo, mm. Charlie, Musonda, all those guys, Johnstone and all those guys, and mm. the others that uh, perished in, in the Gabon disaster. That yes. I realized that after that but involvement in the Olympics, Noah, it's mm. like... Mm our the zambian soccer team was just propelled to some to another level isn't that what yes. happened there yes yes that's uh, the exposure that's what the exposure does to to every individual to the nation mm. you start believing in yourself so we have gone like the women's team now they've gone to the world cup they're the first uh, uh like team to go uh, the senior uh, team to go in zambia they, they've made this story already yes so the Olympics already, they've played against uh, many teams in a group stage and uh, in a, at the Olympics. So they've, they, at least already they are believing in themselves. Mm -hmm. The way they play now, it's, it's so different. And you know what? How, 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 how life is. <laughs> the teams, excuse me, the teams who are uh, with us in the same group, mm -hmm. they are going name by name, knowing these players we have. Who is this person? What does, where is he play? Where is she playing? You see, so even that, it's already an achievement where you are unknown, but mm. uh, teams are analyzing about you, how you play your best position, your stronger foot, when they face against you, how can they do to defend you? It's already an achievement on that on, on, on its own. Mm. Mm. Excellent, Noah. Yeah, wow. Thank you so much for that. Um, as we conclude here, Noah, thank you for taking the time and we just wanted to, you know, uh, like you are saying, your team is, is I mean, your team is a brand. I like the name yes. you are using, that your team mm -hmm. is a brand. And mm -hmm. we wanted to talk to somebody who had a first experience playing yes. with the Barcelona Legends. My final mm -hmm. question to you is, what was your greatest takeaway from this experience? What was your takeaway? The experience of uh, the game uh, we played against Barcelona? Yes. Yes, one is like uh, just to see. One is to reunite the the twenty twelve team together, mm -hmm. because we haven't made you know some uh, retired earlier. Some uh, so we have never been together like. But this game brought us together. That was one highlight on this game. Yeah. The second, it was the cloud which which uh, which came to the stadium. Wow. The stadium, the stadium was full to the capacity. Yes, I was told it was packed, right? Yes, the I could hear the announcement when we were playing. They said, "Oh, ushers, please close the gates. We cannot take any <laughs> more people coming inside." 
I know they are get crushers and uh, oh, maybe you went in without maybe having tickets. The uh-huh. numbers, like, but the stadium was full. Paid or unpaid. People wow. took time to come and watch the game. Mm-hmm. That was, an, I, you know, when I saw the ground, uh, the stadium full like that, yes. unless the, the uh, inauguration of a president or something, that that's the only times like a stadium could be full like that. Mm-hmm. So it was an honor to play in that capacity. Uh, I really thank the Zambian to, to come in numbers and uh, support uh, uh, that game and uh, the initiative from the ministry as well. It was a really good... Uh, even me, like, uh, that was the only time I could, like, go to the media. I said, you know what? I've also retired from football. Because uh, what more could I ask for mm-hmm, to play mm-hmm. that kind of... So I said, no, no, no. I've, I've done it all now. They've given me this game. Now I can... Uh, now, um, you know, you, you'll be denying to yourself, like I said, it's difficult when you retire to come out. Say, oh, no, no, I've retired from football. Now, that kind of game we played, and I just say, uh, freely, I said, oh, no, no, you know what? I'll never have this kind of crowd again to play and say I've retired. That's true. So it That's was very a true. surprise for me as well. Mm. Excellent. Wow, Noah. Well, mm. now I think we can officially say Coach Noah Chivuta, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you see more of, uh, of me, even like in the, in front of uh, the bench or in the uh-huh. back room. Yes, so That's something excellent. is cooking, yes, yes. Good for you, Noah. We are so proud mm. of you and... Uh, I mean, you've put our national flag on the world map way out there in Thailand. And you yes. know what? The last time you mm-hmm. came on the show, mm-hmm. I didn't bother so much to check out. But this time I said to myself, you know what? Let me look on the world map and see where Thailand is, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it's very, you are very far. You actually yes, are very, I very didn't far. realize that you are in the you are in between Vietnam and the, the Philippines, right? The Philippines and Cambodia, yes. And Cambodia, yes, yes in that yes, area yes. there, yeah. And, then, and uh, yes, uh, yes. for the interest of those watching, especially in the US, uh, Noah is mm. 12, between Noah and I are like 12 hours different. So, yes. yeah, right yeah. now for me in Dallas, it's 9 44 a.m. So, for Noah, it's 9 44 mm. p.m., right? Yeah, yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right, no, I'm gonna let you go to sleep now. Thank you so much for coming, no, my friend. Pleasure, pleasure. It was wonderful uh having me, and I uh, really enjoy your show and uh God bless. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, everybody, that's our show for this weekend. My apologies for the technical issues. I we need to take care of this. We can't yes. we can't continue experiencing this. Uh that was mm-hmm. our coach Noah Chivuta joining us yes. from Bangkok in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Is part of the uh, uh, Chipolo Polo 2012 African Nations champions, and he also played in the Barcelona Legends and Chipolo Polo Legends team mm. that uh, were the game that was played on Africa Freedom Day. We just thought we'd have a conversation with him and just get that inside information and experience of what was going on. Thanks, mm. Coach Noah, and have okay. a good evening. Thank you so much. All Take right, care. bye, everybody. Bye bye. Presenting book titles authored by Derek Chibilu. The following titles are now available. Love as God Intended It. Whimsical Wonders. 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The Bible Storybook Series is available in three volumes with multiple choice questions and answers included at the end of every chapter. Volume 1. 50 Bible Tales for Kids. Volume 2. 46 Parables. Tales of God's Kingdom and Our Lives. And Volume 3. Exploring the Transformative Power of Faith and the Miraculous Acts of Christ. Order on Amazon and Barnes and Novels Online. Here is a comment from one reader of Love as God Intended It. I went through it in one sitting. Excellent flow of language and thought. It's a great resource bent on promoting love and harmony in marital relationships. It's a must-read for all people, especially those that belongs to the community of faith. Kudos by Dr. Abel Satali. Both books are available online at Amazon and Barnes and Novels. You can also get Whimsical Wonders and Love as God Intended It on Google Playbooks and Google Books and audiobook versions. Get your child captivating bedtime stories from Whimsical Wonders, 50 Tales of Fictional Fun. The books are available in ebook paperback and audiobook at the following distributors amazon barnes and novels google books and google playbooks the word is out order your copy today by following the book links that you see on the screen for more information or questions email the at gmail.com 
Hurry and get your copy today before they run out. Zambia Blog Talk Radio.